this is Ryan Galley and this is my first video tutorial. Uh, today we will be creating a 360 degree shooting engine. So let's open Multimedia Fusion 2. And we now create a new file. Uh, you can name the file whatever you want. I'm going to name mine 360 shooting. And you can name the first frame whatever you want. Great, so now we enter the game frame, and we're going to need an active object. Uh, we'll make it a smiley face for simplicity. I am not the best artist in the world. Uh, now we're going to create a second active. Maybe have it um, be orange. And we're going to want to make it uh, 4 pixels by 4 pixels. Uh, now we're going to rename this to bullet. And rename this to player. Now, uh, there are ways to do this without extensions, but for simplicity, I'm going to use an extension. Uh, we're going to want to use the click team movement controller object. Just drag that in anywhere. And then we're going to go into our bullet and untick create at start. And we're also going to want to add some alterable values. So maybe we'll name uh, one of them angle with an underscore because angle is a taken value. Um, start x, start y, and um, we can get started. So go to the events editor. And now go add a new condition. Um, the keyboard, uh, the mouse, I mean, uh, user clicks with the left button single click. Create a bullet relative to the player at zero, zero. Now we're going to want to go back into the player and set its hotspot to the center so this doesn't look very strange and so now that we're going to have a bullet created at the center of the player object whenever we click and then we're going to use uh, the click team movement controller just the angle of the object so um, go into alterable values set set angle uh, click team movement controller, general expressions, angle between two points. Uh, we're going to get the x coordinate of the smiley face and the y coordinate of the smiley face. And our second position is going to be x mouse and y mouse. So now we have an angle. Um, now we can set its initial x and y positions. To set start x to x of player, and set start y to y of player. So. Uh, now we're done with the setup, and we can create another condition. Always. Uh, now, every frame we want to move the bullet, let's say 10 pixels. Uh, but we don't want it to move in one of the standard 32 directions, we want to move it in 360 degrees. So, to do that, we are going to set its position to. 
start y, start x, plus, uh, and I'll create some brackets, the cosine of the angle we stored times 10. And we're going to want to do basically the same thing for y. So achieve start y, then add, instead of cosine this time we're going to use sine of angle. And we're going to multiply it by 10. So this is going to set the x position every time, uh, but at, before we finish, we need to add a two more actions. Uh, we need to, at the end of this, uh, set the alterable value start x to exactly what we just set um, x position. Because a position can't be a float on screen, using an alterable value to contain position is uh, necessary for the movement to take on 360 degrees. So, finish this up. I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to... Just change a little bit for y. And now we have a short little 360 degree shooting engine. But wait, it would seem everything is a little bit screwed up. Not shooting the exact right way. So to compensate for this, um, when we go to set angle up here, we multiply the whole thing by negative 1. Now everywhere you go, the bullets shoot in 360 degrees. Uh, to show you this 360 degrees, I'm going to give a better example. Mouse repeat while mouse key is pressed. Uh, I'll show you the exact range of motion this thing has. That is a lot of directions right there. You can do a lot with this. Um, let's say you want your bullets to move a little bit faster. Uh, you just go into all of these expressions, change your values maybe to 20. That'll make it go twice as fast as it was just going. now. Um, and this is the tutorial on how to make a 360 degree shooting engine. Uh, thanks for giving me your summary time. I hope you learned something.